Have you had Southern Draw? No. It's an excellent cigar. I thought I'd had every cigar ever made. I'll give you some to go. Um, yeah, it's, it's really good. I think I think it's a Nicaraguan made. I think based in in Dallas. What's your favorite cigar? What do you? If you, you Cuban or non-Cuban? Uh, I know we're not allowed. Let's to Let's do both. Cuban. Let's do Cuban. You know when I was here with George Farmer. I, I hope he doesn't mind me saying this. <laughs> he was sitting there. I was sitting here. We're smoking. He's like, "Do you like that cigar?" Because he brought me a whole. I'm like, "Yeah, this is great." Like, That's about eight hundred dollars. <laughs> My gosh. <laughs> I, I was just, I was in, in London. I, I'm the godfather to George's okay. daughter. Yeah. So we fly to London and George, he, he doesn't really drink usually. He doesn't, but his real expensive taste is cigars. He has only the very best and always Cuban. So we're sitting there after the baptism, after the dinner, and we're sitting around and he says, let's have some cigars. And he pulls out Bahique 52s. Explain this to me. I don't know. This is probably about an $800 cigar. And... He pulled out however many he had, three or four. Passes them out, one for me, one for him. And I know that only he and I knew what this cigar was. And everyone else just smoking. I didn't give him a swish or sweet. They probably would have thought the same thing. But, to you know, life is very short. Potentially shortened by these. Though I actually think that the, uh, cigars have great health benefits. And We'll get back to that. We'll get back to that in a second. But I think life is too short to smoke bad cigars. Not saying that you or I should purchase you know eight hundred dollars cigars, but here's my theory, right? When it comes to whiskey, when it comes to cigars, boys don't enjoy whiskey, nor should they. But I mean, like eighteen year olds and twenty year olds, you know. And when they finally develop a taste for it, they immediately become pretentious and yeah. try to buy the most expensive bottles they can. But what I think would be helpful is if we all began with really bad cigars, yeah. so we could then tell the difference. Because when you start with excellent cigars, where do you go? It, it killed me. My first cigar was a Cuban cigar. A cheaper Cuban, but a Cuban. And so I went in and I loved it right away. I hate, I'd never smoked cigarettes, never got into pot, but I loved cigars. And it is tough. I would be a much richer man had I not started with good cigars. Help. But I, yeah. I, I agree with you on the, the whiskey stuff. I don't, I'm, I'm just not sophisticated enough. So I'll go cheap on whiskey, mm -hmm. relatively cheap on wine. My, my, my thought is that all bourbons are identical and anybody who tells you different is just lying. <laughs> yeah. So I, I like to buy the kind of bourbon where one liter is actually bigger than the brand Ooh. because that's their selling point, <laughs> that it's a liter of cheap $12 bourbon. I think all bourbons are the same. Well, I think the plastic, that's the higher end That's stuff, what right? you that's want. That's what you yeah, want. With the grip on it so you <laughs> yeah, don't, it doesn't right. easily slip out. <laughs> But scotch is not, that's not true. I mean, Lagavulin is the greatest scotch in it's my estimation. It's fabulous, yeah. yes. I, someone gave me a bottle of Macallan 18. Yeah. And I'm sipping it very slowly. But I did have this thought, for people who don't know anything about whiskey, once I finish it, I've got to pour the swill into that, and then I pour it to people, and they'll think they're having a wonderful... Is, would yeah. that be immoral? Uh, would it be a lie is the question, because I would suppose that lying is always immoral. <clears throat> Maybe if you didn't tell them yeah. necessarily... And I just said, this is really quite good. This is quite good. You put anything in a crystal decanter. Yes. And it's great. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So health benefits of cigars. I smoke probably a cigar a day. I'm about there, yeah. yeah. And which, what, what, what's your response to criticisms about that? Does it relax you? Does it allow you to contemplate things? Do you smoke alone or do you smoke with other people? I usually both? smoke in the morning. Do you? I, I much prefer a morning cigar over coffee than a night cigar. Mm. Uh, so uh, I usually am alone here. Yeah, I like it very much. I love cigars but alone. But this is very enjoyable. Yes. I mean, a good conversation. I, I yeah. read somewhere, it was one of those quotes in a cigar lounge somewhere, that a cigar is as good as the experience you're having while you're smoking. Yeah. And sometimes we can have good experiences alone. But I, I like it with people too. So probably 60-40 alone with, and with people. But the, the cigars are very good because... They allow you to contemplate eternity. Mm -hmm. They do. There's a great song by the Mills Brothers. Where do they go, these smoke rings I blow each night? Where do they fade, these circles of blue and white? Oh, smoke rings I love, please take me above. Take me with you. So That's Very good. Thank you. I'm going to have and some port here. I, that would, I know, I've got to catch up. you got to. They do that. And also, this is not an original idea, but I'll claim it for myself. I'm sure I read it in First Things or something. Cigars, like other forms of smoked tobacco, correspond to the tripartite soul. Let's do it. So the pipe, uh -huh. as I use this pipe lighter, I see a pipe over there, a nice Meerschaum pipe, corresponds to the logical part of the soul, right? You see it's got the joint of the masculine and the feminine, the masculine mm -hmm. stem, the feminine bowl. You, th you think of the professor mm -hmm. smoking the pipe, the philosopher. He tamps it. It's a very involved experience. Yep. 
cigarette corresponds to the appetitive part of the soul. Uh-huh. Right? I, so I need it now. Sugar. I need it. Give it. Give me. Give me. Give me. <laughs> And the cigar corresponds to the thumotic part of the soul. The cigar corresponds to that spirited part, the chest. The cigar is, is frankly more about what you blow out than what you take in. You don't inhale a cigar mm. ordinarily. And uh, so I, I like that. So I'm drawn, I've tried pipes, barely tried cigarettes, but the cigar really does it. And I think, to quote Winston Churchill, I have taken more out of cigars than the cigars have taken out of me. I like it. Tobacco is a dirty weed. I like it. It satisfies no normal need. I like it. It makes you sick. It makes you lean. It takes the hair right off your bean. It's the worst damn stuff I've ever seen. I like it. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Please subscribe or you're a dingus. What's a dingus exactly? It used to refer to something one cannot or does not wish to name specifically. <laughs> You don't have to subscribe, but if you did, I'd love it, you dingus. Like the video. <laughs> That's where you to that one. Take one.